Hello, this is Dr. Kirk, and today we're going to be making a basic pumpkin. Let's get rid of that there. Now, we'll start with a sphere. Just a regular ball, click and drag out. It's going to be perfectly round, that's fun. Now, we'll do this mainly from the top viewpoint. And we'll start off by making this, of course, an editable poly. So, we jump down to editable polys, and grab that. Then we go over to the edge. We're going to deal with the edges of this thing. So I'll grab a few. Hold down the control. Maybe I'll skip one section. Grab, skip a section. Skip two sections there. I don't want that one. Start again here. Grab. Skip two sections sometimes. Skip one sometimes. Whatever looks good to you. But just grab a few. Add some variety to it. If you want to grab two together, you can. Might make it look a bit interesting. So something like this. You just want a bit of a different kind of pumpkin shape. Let's try that. Okay, so once these are grabbed, we go down in our edge tool to loop. Now the whole thing is grabbed, which is great. So go to scale, and from the top, this is very important, from the top, we don't want all of it. We want just this, that flat plane here. Just the Y and the X coordinates pulled in a bit. Doesn't have to be a huge amount, just a bit like that should be fun. Go back to the selection tool. We want to drop that as quick as we can. Okay, so if we take a look at this in the other views, we see that we haven't pulled it down from the top and the bottom. And that it is, however, pulled down and around from the other views. So that's great. We've got our kind of rough pumpkin-y shape to it. Let's change the color a bit. That doesn't really look pumpkin-ish. Well, for now, that'll do. So a nice bright orange pumpkin. All right. So we're getting there. A few other things we need to do to shape it. And we'll go over to the vertex. And the vertex is just a point. So we'll grab the top point of this. Let's go over here. Zoom in a bit so we can see it from this side. Now I'm going to do a soft selection here. In other words, I want to move that, but I don't want to pull just the point down like that. That would look terrible. So I'm going to Control C and do that. We do a soft selection here. So go over to Soft Selection, we open this panel up, click Use Soft Selection. Now it's going to turn a little almost rainbow colored here. And the fall off, if you increase it, increases the amount it's going to be affected. I want a fair amount affected, so I'll do something like this. Then I go up again, and I'm going to move tool selected. I'll grab the top one, and just move it down like this. It kind of collapses or deforms that whole part of it. Now that works for me. So I'll grab the bottom section, do the same thing. If I want, I can change the fall off here. A greater or smaller amounts. Like I'll do a really big one here this time. And just kind of pull it up. So it falls down like so. Now it starts to look more like a pumpkin. So we'll take the soft selection off. We don't need that anymore. I'll take a look from a different viewpoint over here. Now I keep going in like this to the viewpoints in the top left. The double boxes. If you go into something like that, it won't change your selection or drop your settings, which is nice. So let's take a look at what we've got so far. Hold down the Alt key and the rotate button, rotate wheel, and it looks pretty good. Now there is something else missing on this, and that's the top part. So let's add the stem. We'll work on the stem now. For this one, we're going to go into the polygons, and I'm going to grab those from the top view this time. So go into the top view and zoom in on that for now. I want to zoom in a little bit. I'll hit the F3s and the F4s so I can see what I'm doing here. Now I do not want to select the back facing, so I'll click on this. I just want this. So go into my select tool, grab the top here, square it, selection is fine, and just kind of grab this. Now the first thing I want to do is do There it go. There it is. The inset. So I'll click on inset. This just kind of brings it in a little bit. So I'll bring it in like so. Now we'll see what we have. It looks a little bit crazier, which is actually fun. I'll go to another view and see what we've got here. The inset kind of pulls it up a little bit, so I want to bring it down a bit for now. So I'll grab. Let's see what we've got. I don't want to drop my selection, so I'll do one with the double box to go into there. I'll grab that blue and pull it down a little bit. 
Well, that's good for me. Now I will do a bevel, or actually an extrude, and get it up there a little bit. So we'll extrude it, bring it up a little bit. At this point I want to scale it down. So that's all of the edges, so I'll scale it down a little bit. Looks pretty good. Let's see what we're working with. I'm going to zoom in a bit, pan down, and get a really good feel for this. And we'll keep going. So I'll do another extrude. Pull it out a bit and scale it down a bit more. Just the same type of thing. Maybe I'll move it over a little bit and a little bit this way too. Just a little bit. And rotate it a bit so it won't look so predictable. Looks more natural if you do. Maybe a little bit this way, that way. Do another extrude. Bring that up just a bit more. And let's bring that a bit tighter in. There, that's fun. So let's get rid of that selection and drop it. Let's see what we've got for the whole thing. So let's take a look. Let's just go back to perspective here. Hit the Z if you want to see everything. I'll zoom in a little bit. That's looking pretty good. Now there's something else I want to put on top of this, of course. As you may have guessed, it's going to be a mesh smooth. So on top of everything, I'll go down here to mesh smooth. Because I want to smooth that pumpkin. Now let's see what we look like so far. Yep, that's what we're after. We've got a regular looking pumpkin here. So very quickly, let's go ahead and draw this. So I'll kind of, if you don't see it here, get the hand, pull it over, and you should see the render panel right here. I'll click it, hit render, and we'll see what we get. And yes, we've got a good looking, very basic pumpkin. That's just the beginning of this, but we've got a very good looking, basic pumpkin.